Hi, this is Katie here with Kath Kidson doing an interview for Shiny Shiny. Hello. Uh, and Kath's got some brand new Nokia phones, well not brand new Nokia phones, but brand new Kath Kidson Nokia phones to show us. Kath, do you want to tell us a bit more about them? Basically, working on the project, I wanted three different prints. I had an idea of, um, I wanted to do a slightly hippie kind of funky print. So I've done um, one of my, That's my favourite pop stars, red, um, with, you know, kind of quite 60s print all over design, which I have to say I'm thrilled how the colours and the, um, the way that one's lovely. worked out. I then liked the idea of putting a very old, this is like a, based on a very old Victorian chintz pattern, really antique looking design. And I love the idea of an old print on new technology. And the printing, the way it's come out, it's probably finer than it is even on the tablecloth. And then, you know, I've got a 14-year-old stepdaughter who's really into her phone and wanted something that wasn't floral, but um, is crazy about stars at the moment. And I've been working on, a, on, you know, using a classic star for a few products. We've done this on bags and bits and pieces. So to see this shocking pink phone with the white stars, I think it's kind of kind of funky but traditional at the same time. Yeah. So this is your um, second foray into the... Gadget World after the, I think it's the second, after the Roberts, Roberts Radio. Yeah, that's right. We did a radio with Roberts last year, a digi radio. Um, what made you want to, to do more? Um, I've always, for me, one of the biggest challenges of working with print is thinking of new, really credible ideas. Or, um, you know, what can I put my prints on that actually makes sense? And we've done some quite exciting projects. We did a tent a couple of years ago for minutes, and I don't think anyone had done a mad printed tent before. And so, um, when Carth and Warehouse were doing this project with us, came up with the idea, um, I thought it was just so exciting to be able to work on something brand new that no one's done. And um, I just love the idea of a phone not being black or grey or white or whatever it is, but to have. Um, great to be in on new technology and new print technique and to work with um they say i've had my nokia phone for years it's great to be able to now have a cat phone do you like gadget i do i've lived with someone who is like such a gadget head i can't tell you i find it quite hard turning the telly on at home she's always got some new remote control device and you know his car everything's automatic when i get in this and that happens so I live with someone who's hugely technical, but so I, I appreciate things like that. But so long as I can work, I know how to work them. So I've got a few key things that I use my phone and a BlackBerry. I'm stuck with a very, very old um, cyan organizer as my dress book that must be 10 years old, which I know can't be mended, it's about to collapse. Um, I've just got a new camera I love. So I use what I call practical technology, I love it. Yeah. Yeah. Do you think that you'll uh, have any chance to do any more sorts of uh, gadgets like this? Well, I always like to do one thing at a time and see how this goes and make sure it all, you know, works as I hope it will. You know, we're excited about it. But there are other ideas we've got in the pipeline, so we'll see. And uh, finally, which one's your favourite? Do you know, it's really hard to tell. I love this one. I have to say, I love, I love red. Red is my, you know, my favourite colour. So I love the way the print is all over that phone. And then I think this little slidey one with the print, definitely between one of those two, those two. And this one, I'm getting my stepdaughter, so it's like a kind of. This is for, I think, a little bit younger than I am, unfortunately. But I love those two. Thanks very much.